to get this darkened patina, you use a patina solution. So um, I have used something that's called liver of sulfur before. And the last time I was doing a project, I think I ran out of it and I did some searching online because it's something you have to order online, but I didn't have time. So I found this, which is in, you can get the hardware store, lime sulfur, and it works just as well. But like the title says, sulfur, it smells like rotten eggs. So be prepared. You may want to do this in the garage or something like that if you're concerned with smell. Before I get to that, I am going to, because I'm going to use this just as a part of a gift wrapping for a present, I'm going to um, cut this out. Now, this probably isn't very suitable for, and you can just use scissors, I wouldn't use your good scissors. Um, this isn't suitable for younger children, probably, because um, if you're just cutting the metal, the metal like I am here, it is sharp. So, um, you know, you could cut yourself on it. So I wouldn't suggest <laughs> making anything with raw edges for little kids. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to show you how to do the patina. I've gotten a bowl and some paper towels. So the bowl is for the patina. So I am just going to put a tad bit, just like this. And again, it is smelling like rotten eggs. Rotten eggs majorly. So what I'm going to do, see it's this kind of orangey liquid, is lay my piece of metal that I'm going to be patina in. I don't know if that's a word or not. On another piece of towel, I'm going to dip paper towel into the solution. I'm going to put it all over my leaf. And you can see it's instantly making it black. Don't worry. It won't look like that forever. So, some things to keep in mind. You can Google um, copper patinas or whatever type of metal you're working with and the patina you want. There's some green, blue, Patinas. I can show you. This is on brass. But you can see it's a, that blue green look. So there's different patinas you can use in different metals, and not everything works on everything. So, so as you can see, it is turned black. And what we're gonna do is let that dry. Okay. So it's been about 10 or 15 minutes and I'm coming back to this and it is dry. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of newspaper down and I'm going to use, I'm sure there's many things you could use, but I'm going to use some steel wool. I am going to brush that off. So, as you can already t see, the black's coming off. So this is a point where um, it's kind of up to your personal preference of how much or how little to take off. So I like to get at least all the dark, dark black off. And then you can really, the more you rub, you know, the more the 
shiny copper comes back through so you can really you know highlight your lines how it's looking. I might do a little bit more. See, there he is. So that is basically your finished product. Um, so obviously on something like this, it's just larger scale. You're going to have, um, in, some, in this case, um, you know, this was a very large piece of metal and I had, you know, my different leaves drawn out on the back. Um, and what I did was I folded this over a binder and glued it all on. Um, the downside that I haven't really come up with a good solution for yet is it kind of has some sharp edges. Um, it's not really that problematic for this, but um, haven't really come up for a solution for that yet. So, so I use just use um, any type of all-purpose glue, kind of like a rubber cement type um, glue that is on the label calls it a little stick. Um, to metal, so that's what I've used for that. So, um, like we said earlier, this is what the back looks like with the Sharpie. So what I'm going to do later is um, I'll go ahead and rub this off with um, the steel wool and I might even patina the back. But uh, I will also Probably, let's see, where am I going to do that? I think I'll do it just on the end. I'm going to fold this over and snip little hole. And I will pop this out a little bit. There we go. So I popped a hole in there and then I could use some sort of ribbon to tie it onto the package. This is not what I'm really going to use, but it's what I have on hand for the sake of demonstration purposes. So. there you have it. I could just cut that off and I'm going to attach it to um, the gift wrap. So to briefly show you one more time, with this type of craft you can make simple little objects like this, tags or ornaments, to covering large projects like this baby book or all sorts of things and just to show one more time you can get quite detailed with it to wall art so that is how to do copper tooling I hope you found this helpful and that you might give it a try let me know if you do I'm sure I have may have left something out, so if I have, um, just please let me know in the comments below and I can try to answer anybody's questions or uh, maybe film an update if I need to. So, this is Crystal with Mrs. Fine Fettle. Thanks for watching.